What's up, people? This is your girl, Miss Winters, again. Welcome here. Today, I'm super excited. I'm going to do some chocolate swirl cookies. So, what I'm going to use today, I have two, two bowls here, two plastic bowls over here. And then here, inside here, there are two cups of flour, just all-purpose flour. And then uh, I'm going to use half cup of sugar. This is just normal sugar. If you need a lot, you can do a full one, but I prefer doing less. And then um, I'm using margarine, this container. This is 250 grams, 250 grams of margarine. And then uh, at some point I'll need some, this is cocoa, cocoa kawaida. And then, uh, so, um, I'll also need one teaspoon of baking powder, and then uh, one teaspoon of cardamom, they're just here. Cardamom is here. One teaspoon of cardamom, one teaspoon of baking powder, this one, and then, Two teaspoons of vanilla essence, two teaspoons, and then I'm gonna need um, two teaspoons of cornstarch. This is cornstarch, and then I'm gonna use uh, four eggs. I'm gonna use four eggs. So I'm just put my eggs over here. Let me just put them here. Let me just put them. Them here, so I'm gonna need four eggs. Actually, let me just uh, go ahead and do the beating. Go ahead and do the beating. So, four eggs. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm gonna do the, the eggs over here. So, I'll do the eggs. And then I continue. I'm doing four eggs. Four eggs, four eggs. Four eggs. I'm doing four eggs for eggs. So, uh, what I've done, by the way, guys, I just melted my butter. So it is melted. Uh, let me try to pull it closer so that you may be able to see the butter is melted right here. So I just put in the microwave to melt it so that it's easier for me. All right, come on, either without further ado, let's get started. And even as I continue, please remember to subscribe, subscribe, support somebody here. A humble request. So I'm gonna mix all the dry ingredients. I'm gonna put. Um, I'll do the. I'll start with the cardamom. I start with the cardamom. So um, I do the cardamom. Just one teaspoon is enough. It's a full one. And then I do the baking powder. Remember, I'm I'm, I'm starting with the dry ingredients first. So baking powder over here. Over here, and then I mix them. <laughs> I mix, I mix as usual. I mix as usual. So guys, what I'm going to do is this. So I'll put the, I'll pour here the margarine. Just pour here uh, in this one. I'll pour here all the margarine over here. And then I'll add sugar. This is a separate bowl. Then, as usual, I start, I mix, I keep mixing, I keep mixing. 
I'm just mixing the sugar with the margarine. It's still hot, so it's so easy for the sugar to dissolve. Just using the normal, 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 typical sugar. So in this mix is when I'm going to do the vanilla essence. So I'm going to use two teaspoons. I'm going to teaspoons right away. One and two. One and two. All right, so it is from this mix that I'm going to add the, I'm going to add my flour. So I'll just add little by little as I continue, little by little as I mix them. So I start with the, the spoon first, then at some point, no, I'm gonna uh, continue with my, with my hands. So I'm just putting some flour, little by little. Then I continue mixing the dough with my hands. But for now, I'm just using a spoon. If you wish, you can do a pinch of salt, by the way. Don't worry, I'm cooking something on the sides. Do not worry. So I've put everything, everything is in here, just mixing, I'm just mixing everything, all the mixture here, everything, everything, then I'll continue with my hand. So guys, uh, I'm, I'm done with my dough. I just want to put it in the fridge for just 20 minutes. Then I move on to the next step. I put everything in jet cocoa. Keep watching, like and subscribe. So uh, my, dough, uh, um, my dough is ready. It's not a lot, it is ready. So I'm going to divide my dough into half, into two halves. So I'll just use this knife to divide my dough into two halves. Into two halves. So that uh, you see what I'll do next. So the, actually what I'm going to do is for this one half, I'm going to add some cocoa. This one over here. Just some cocoa so that I get the chocolate flavor. So I'm going to do 50 grams, 50 grams of cocoa. But I'm going to do. If you want it to be darker, by the way, you can add. But for now, I'm doing 50. All right, so I've divided, uh, after I've mixed with the uh, cocoa, I have these two, I've divided my dough into two, this one over here, and then this one over here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to put this one here, and need some flour. Uh, don't you worry, don't you worry. So, I put this one here and then I roll it into something like a chapati. So this is what I'm going to do. And then I do the same to the brown one. But let me just push it aside to create space. So
Right, so guys, what I've done, uh, yeah, let me get the camera closed. So guys, uh, what I've done is this. I've done the, the you remember I divided the door into, into two, you remember? So what I've done, I've put the vanilla one down and then I've put the chocolate one down here. So that's what I am doing. So I'm just spreading in so that it can, it can absorb. You see? It needs to, to spread out really well. It has to go, 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 go. Go and go to spread nicely. The one that I think is extra, you don't have to worry. I'll just chop the extra one. So, just do this. I chop, I chop the extra one. Just go chopping. So, I chop the extra one like that. All right. So then from there, I'm just doing a fold. Hope you can be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just doing a fold. Just doing a fold. Just, I'm just folding. I'm sure you can see, just folding. Folding like that. So, I'm just folding. Folding, folding. I'll put here some water so that it can stick nicely. Just a bit of water. Some water on the edge, on the edge, just at the edge. At the edge, I'm just putting some, some water to make it a bit wet and, you know, sticky. So that's what I'm doing that way. So once you're done like this, you can actually put this, uh, you can, uh, you really need to get a very sharp knife. I'm hoping that this one will do. Then you just cut, cut through small pieces. Small, small, small pieces. Mine is not as sharp as I thought it was going to be, but anyways, anyways, anyways. So I'll continue with this. Until I'm done with all, all of them. You see, this is how they are appearing. Yes, so I'll continue like this until I'm done with all of them. So guys, uh, what I've done, re remember, uh, after rolling, look, I've just been cutting. It is still the same, same thing. So I've been cutting. And so when you check closer, these are the small cuts that I have of my chocolate uh, cookies. They are this one. So I'm just going right ahead to put in the oven. So I'll do it at 400 Fahrenheit. Or 200 degrees Celsius, it still means the same, same thing. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, let me just show you what I've done uh, before I put in the oven. There are these ones over here. So, when they are ready, they start turning brownish on the sides, the white part, the outer part. Okay, so basically, that's what is it. So it is. I'm just putting in the, I'm just fixing in the oven, in the oven, I'm sure you can see. So, uh, let me do the timer. Um, 
15 to 20 minutes they should be ready and then I'm doing it at 200 Fahrenheit Fahrenheit and I'm burning on both sides of the oven so I'm sure you can see really really well inside my oven all right so guys i'm opening my oven uh, they are ready by now the 20 minutes are over So I've just turned off the I've turned off the, the, the oven because now my cookies are ready. Let me pull the camera closer now they are ready. Uh, so I'm just I'm just serving my my cookies. My swan chocolate cookies. I'm serving them. Then I'll be able to present them. To serve them with a mug of with a mug of a mug of tea. All right. So I've just done my presentation. Now, this is how my plate of chocolate swirls look like. I'm just hoping that as it hangs, <laughs> so come on, Kawaida, my friends. Please, 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 if you are not part of this channel, I'm kindly asking you to subscribe, like my videos, watch, watch to the end. There are nice tutorials for recipes, and also remember to comment so that I know what you feel about these videos. Um, yeah, of course, uh, huh, let me, hi, hi, so, yeah, sure, so, remember to subscribe, Kama Kawaida, just a Kenyan recipe, so, I want to show you my presentation of the plate, so that you, at least once in a while, you can do breakfast for your family, this is how they look like, you can take them with a cup of tea, with a glass of juice, or, or anything i'm sure you can see you can see clearly so please subscribe kama kawaida until next time bye bye and thanks for watching bye bye guys and uh, thanks for your time as well bye bye see you in my next video